Today I'm sharing five eye makeup mistakes that you may be making if you wear glasses. Hi everybody, it's Kathy. I'm 53 years old and I wear eyeglasses 99.9% .9 of the time. Except for today, I'm wearing my contacts because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. When you wear glasses, it is so important to make your eyes pop. Today I'm going to show you five eye makeup mistakes that you may be making if you wear glasses and if you're new to wearing glasses, you may not even be aware that you have to do your makeup differently. I'm not an expert, but I wear glasses all the time and this is how I do my eye makeup. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a before and an after and I'm going to show you how my eyes really pop using the five tips that I'm going to share in this video. All of the items that I show will be linked below in the description box below this video and I have links for both the US and Canada. When you wear glasses, it's sometimes difficult to get your glasses to stay in place because they like to slide down your nose, especially if you have oily skin like me. I have yet to really find a foundation that will last all day on my nose. I have tried some different things to help prolong my foundation on my nose, but I just haven't perfected anything yet. So my suggestion would be powder your nose before putting your foundation on. Then I would apply your foundation all over your face and on your nose and really press it in using a sponge or your fingers. Then I would powder my nose again. And that's just gonna try and set the foundation on the nose. I will put a little bit of setting spray onto a sponge and then I'll press that into the nose. It's not 100%, but it helps to sustain my foundation lasting a little bit longer on the nose, but the nose is a tricky area. Another eye makeup mistake you might be making if you wear glasses is with concealer. You might be wearing either too much or not enough. Depending on if you are near or far sighted, your glass lenses may magnify your under eye area. I am both far sighted and near sighted, so I have progressive lenses, which means that I have the bottom of my lenses magnified for close up reading and the top part of my lens as my distance prescription. I am not a huge fan of concealer. I prefer a color corrector, which is a concealer. The color corrector that I have only hides darkness and blueness under the eyes, and really that is um, my primary concern. But if you need like a heavier concealer, you can still use these tips. So what I like to do is I put a small amount of concealer in the corner of my eye, and then using the tip of a sponge or a concealer brush, I will pull the concealer downwards. You can always add more if you need to, but I would start with a tiny amount first. It's always easier to add rather than to take away. I would also use concealer or an eyelid primer to set my eyelids for my eyeshadow application. I think that wearing eyeshadow is a personal choice. I'm more of a neutral shade type of person, so I'm not even going to recommend how you do your eyeshadow. I would suggest putting a primer or a concealer on your eyelid just to hold your shadow and to make it stay put. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put eyeshadow on. I'm just using a single eyeshadow today. This is Laura Mercier. I think it's Kiss by a Rose. It's just a really nice light pink. It's just so easy. Like you don't need any tools. You can use your fingers if you want to pat it in after. And it's just so pretty for spring. eye makeup mistake you might be making if you wear glasses is probably going to be a controversial one, but this is what works for me. I like to apply my eyeliner on my upper waterline. I don't put it on my upper eyelid because I have hooded eyes, but also because I don't have much space. If I'm wearing a few different colors of eyeshadow, I will bring the darkest eyeshadow down about two thirds of the way underneath my bottom eyelashes, not on the waterline underneath the eyelashes. And then I will take a smudger brush and I will smoke that out. And it really makes my blue eyes pop. And I feel that I can get away with this because I wear glasses 99.9% .9 of the day and it really does make my eyes pop. Now I have blue eyes, so the colors that I like to use for my 
eyeliner. I stay away from black. Black is just too harsh for me anymore. I like brown. I like gray. And I also like navy. I do have a nude eyeliner that I like to put on my lower lash line. And it just hides any redness. You can see the difference in my two eyes with it. Another eye makeup mistake you might be making if you wear glasses is applying mascara to your bottom lashes. I only apply mascara to my upper lashes because I do not like how it looks on my bottom lashes. I find that by the end of the day, I have raccoon eyes. It just won't stay on my lower lashes. And that is why I like to have a smoky dark eyeliner on the lower lash line because it takes the place of the mascara. And I find it does more to make my eyes pop than mascara would. The eye makeup mistake you might be making if you wear glasses is not paying attention to your eyebrows. So I have two eyebrow pencils that I like. My very favorite is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. I like this one. It's in the shade Universal Taupe. It's available in four different shades and it works on pressure. If you need a light eyebrow, you just press very gently. And if you want them more darker, you just press harder. But there's a new eyebrow pencil in town that I have been really enjoying and I think I like it a little bit better than the cosmetics one and it's by Charlotte Tilbury and it is her brow cheat and it has just a very very tiny tip and that is it there just for comparison for the two shades. Eyebrows are so important because they frame your face and even though your glasses may hide your eyebrows it's still important to remember to do them. Use either an eyebrow pencil or eyebrow gel to hold them in place. I have to use an eyebrow pencil because my eyebrows are very fair and a lot of them are missing. They're very sparse. And if you would like a more in-depth eyebrow tutorial, I have one where I walk you through the steps on how to create the perfect eyebrow and I will link that video in the description box. Are you ready for the moment of truth? I shut my ring light off so you could see without a glare on my glasses, but did you just see how it makes my eyes pop? And I attribute that to the smudging, the eyeliner underneath my eyes. You may also be interested in my seven beginner makeup mistakes that women over 50 often make and how to fix them. If you enjoyed my five eye makeup mistakes that you might be making if you wear glasses, please give this video a like. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you will. As always, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend it with me. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.